Okay veggie gardeners, Stuart here again from my veggie garden. Now, I've just got a few cuttings here. I want to show you how I do cuttings. I've got a product here called Rudox uh, plant cutting powder. Now, I won't dip my cutting into this packet. I'll dip it in. I'll tip a little bit in here and dip it into there because I, if there's a, an infection on any of the plants, I don't want to spread it through the whole lot of the, the cutting powder. I'll explain what this is for shortly. But basically, well, I'll do it now then. Basically, it aids in the formation of roots. That's all I need. Now, I've got um, what I call a bush grevillea. It's just from a, a garden around the corner there, as opposed to the big fancy ones that I call tropical grevilleas. These are a lot easier to take or strike from cuttings. Um, but I thought this was a cute little shrub, so I'm going to see if I can get one for myself. I've got some rosemary, just to keep it a bit veggieized, and um, some lavender. Now, also, it's the middle of June here at the moment, and we had a frost this morning, so it's probably, well, it's not the ideal time to be taking cuttings. Um, but I'm still going to give it a go, because... Uh, why not? The best time for what I'm going to be doing is what's called semi-hardwood cuttings. It's probably back um, late February, March, April, even into May, uh, early May. But once the cold weather starts setting in, it's not a grand idea. Um, so what we want is semi-hardwood cutting. So you've got wood here, which is nice and green, but it's starting to, to age what's called that one's not a good example this one here uh, I don't know if you can see or not it's starting it's not fresh and green it's starting to get that slight woody look to it so we'll just take it off below a node which there's multiple of on these strip that bottom lot take the flower off because that's just sucking up oh, nice sharp secateurs there. that's just sucking up energy and it's one more trick I just gotta find a little knife. I can't remember the technical terming of this, but it's called wounding. Wounding. You're just taking off a small slither of bark there to expose more of the cambium layer, which is where your advantageous roots come from. So I'm just gonna go down the side. Just like that. That's all you want. Now, I'll dip that into my rooting compound, like that, stick your finger in it. This is just potting mix too, by the way, you can, um, you can use seed raising mix that you buy from the nurseries, or you can make up your own with a bit of sand and peat, or sand and perlite, or sand, peat and perlite, all three if you like. And that's it. I'll place it up into a nice sunny spot I've got in the garden, and hope for the best. And I'll take six of these because I only want one plant, but the more the merrier. I'll sharpen these second tears. Um, at this time of year, I don't think I'll see much happening until spring and I'll sit there and think about it and come spring I'll get around to uh, producing roots so September October late October I think they should have formed roots and I'll be able to pot them up so yeah if you're doing cuttings at this time of year, you need a reasonable amount of patience. Now this also this is just a rough backyard way of doing cuttings. In the professional nurseries they do 
a lot more work on hygiene. Everything's clean and everything's sharp. And it's almost surgical, but um, just a backyard hack, so I'm not that fussy. If um, I wanted to improve my strike rate, I'd certainly be looking at a, a better um, propagating mix. Uh, you can also get um, rooting compound in a gel, which I like a lot more. Um, I seem to get better results with it, but this is a third of the price of the gel, so I'm just being a cheapskate as well. Odds are I'll get one of these to strike, if not more. So I'll be happy with that. If I get two or more, I'll give them away as gifts. Alright, that's the Grevelius. Now, with your herbaceous herbs like your rosemary and um, or lavender and I can't think of anything else off the top of my head they're all much the same you don't have to worry about that wounding I did though but you want this slightly firmer wood that's what they call a growing tip and at the moment this is the French lavender it's flowering like mad so you don't want that you'll take that out keep two or three rows of leaves that's about 75 mils as far as cuttings go I'll just take that little woody bit off and again dibble the dip and that's it so that's that soft wood don't want that it's too hard to keep alive it'll just fall over just strip these bottom leaves off that's the sort of bit of semi hardwood there just below the node Rosemary, again much the same, I don't like that tip, it's too soft. You can try tip cuttings in spring if you like. And we'll strip those leaves, just take below a node. You cut off just below a node because that's where the most active growing part is, which is why we do that. That's where the, the highest chance of forming roots and everything come from, you don't want a hole section of stem because it just won't form roots so just as that's old old wood that's hardwood so this is your semi hardwood just below the node there there you go semi hardwood cuttings Herbaceous perennials. Any questions or you want to bite my head off about something I did, feel free. There's a uh, an email button on the side panel there of the, the blog. There you have it. Thanks for watching. This far in here.